Hello, in this session we will talk about creating Amazon Web Services. Key pair, this is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. Open up your browser and navigate to aws.amazon.com and log into your account. We have already opened up the account, so you can click on My Account Console and then AWS Management Console. Enter your login information on the sign in page and hit sign in using secure server. Next you will see this page where you will see the list of Amazon Web Services offered by Amazon. Amazon is a cloud service provider so these are different services that you can take advantage of. We are going to click on EC2 virtual servers in the cloud. EC2 basically stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. So two meaning we have two C's here, one in compute and one in cloud. We understand that Amazon provides different types of services and EC2 is one of the type of services that Amazon provides. Okay, so what does that mean to you? EC2 means you can launch instances with a variety of operating systems like Linux or Windows and you can do that in a matter of minutes. So these are the instances running on the cloud infrastructure of Amazon that means they are highly resizable or scalable. You can scale them down, you can scale them up based on your changing needs in a matter of minutes. That is the real advantage of cloud services. When I'm talking about scaling, I'm talking in terms of resources like hardware resources, CPU capacity, memory, hard disk space, and so on. Now back to the website. Here we are seeing EC2 dashboard. Before we launch an instance, we need to create a key pair, security key pair for public and private key. So scroll down and click on the key pairs option. At this point you must be very clear on the concept of public and private key and I have talked about that in the previous video. We need to click on create key pair button here. We need to give a user friendly name to this key pair. I'm going to call it my keys. Click on the create button. So what has happened? Amazon created two keys, public and private. Public key it kept to itself and private key it gave it to you. You can see here a file is downloaded on my Chrome browser. It's called mykeys.pem and the private key is in this file, not the public key. Public key is with Amazon. I'm going to attach this key pair with the instances that I will create. That means the login information of those instances could be unlocked using this private key. So public key is only used to encrypt the login information and private key can be used to decrypt it. Only private key can decrypt that information and only you have this private key so only you will be able to log into Linux and Windows boxes and no one else would be able to unless you share this private key with somebody else. So this is basically your key to the machines that you are going to rent from Amazon Web Services. You can create multiple key pairs and you will be able to attach the key pairs to the instances that you will rent. So we will use this key pair to the instances that we will create and I will show you how to do that in coming videos. I can click on the close button 